is Nate Williams here for seconds out, um, here with Dalton Smith. Nice to be back out again, isn't it, Dalton? Yeah, good to be back out, staying active and, yeah, perfect day for it, nice weather and, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I just wanted to um, ask you about your opponent. Uh, it's coming from Argentina, he's not uh, fought um, in the UK before. Um, what, do you know much about him? Was there any tape you could find? I know, to be honest, I've not seen much on him. Um, Obviously, I've not had much notice for this fight, and then I think literally had must be uh, ten opponents or more, you know, accepted, pulled out. So it got to the point I was just like, whoever we get, we get, and um, yeah, you know, we're here now. I've got an opponent, and um, I'm ready to go Saturday. How, how would you want to be to progress? Because you've been knocking people out. Exciting! It's been an exciting fight. So, um, is it straight to world level? Or is there anybody you're uh, targeting domestically? Is there any yeah, you know, I've got to go, go through the domestic team first, and you know, I'm on, I'm on the verge of that. You know, I've got a job to do on Saturday night, and then you know, move on towards the domestic scene. And but you know, the end goal for me is eventually becoming a world champion one day. But you know, baby steps at the minute. Well, you know what a, a British domestic fight can do? You look at uh, Bilatsi and Richards. Who, who do you reckon your, your perfect partner for that? Yeah, look at my weight alone. There's, you know, there's, there's probably too many names to mention. You know, you, um, you know, your Casey Benjamins, your Louis Fritzens. Um, what about Harlem Justin, Eubank? Harlem Eubank. Um, you know, the, the, the division stacked. So, you know, I keep saying I'm never going to be short of a dancing partner at my weight. You know, even domestically. So... But like I say, I've got, I've got a job to do Saturday night. I can't overlook anybody, um, especially like these South Americans. Everyone in the boxing world know what they're about. So, you know, after I've got a job Saturday night and then, you know, that's what my eye will be on the, the British after this. So, British title next for you if you come, come through this? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm hoping. That's what I'd, uh, I'd like. But, yeah, I've got, to, I've got my, to defend my belt first. And I'd just like to ask you about your weight in the, in the British scene. You know, uh, at the top of the chain, you've got Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall. Uh, what, what did you think of that fight when uh, you know, Josh got the decision? Yeah, I've been asked this, this so many times now, but um, I say it was a great fight. Um, I don't think it was Josh's best of pop performance, but you know, Catterall won the fight for me. Um, you know, I, I just that's, that, that was much my opinion. Catterall won the fight. You know, maybe they, they can have a rematch down the line. You know, Big fan of Josh, big fan of Catrell, both good lads of the sport, and um, you know, it would be, be good to get that fight back on with those two. Um, uh, just to talk about Josh for a minute, um, you know, he's been um, on Twitter baiting uh, Jack Catterall and that they're arguing back and forth. Um, what, what do you sort of make of all that? Is it best to just stay away from all that and keep your cool? I mean, it's social media, isn't it? That's you know, this is the this is what this is what I I is like now, you know. Social media is big, it promotes fights, and um, you know, you can interact with opponents and stuff. So, you know, I'm not big on social media, I'm not one for those. It's entertaining for the boxing fans, and um, but yeah, it's you know, there's always going to be needle there from you know, the conversations, what happened after the fight. But, um, but like I said, I'd like to see that fight again. Um, about yourself, how, how do you promote yourself and get people aware of you? Cause like I say, as a hardcore boxing fan, a lot of people are excited in seeing you as the next big star to come through. But how, how, how do you sort of keep your cool but promote yourself at the same time so people know that it's like, you know, your time will come eventually? I believe I'm a fighter. You know, if I turn up, the only thing I will do is win. As long as I keep winning, you know, I'm going to reach the top. And um, like I say, the social media this day, some fighters can promote themselves. You know, if they lack in certain areas, they can, they can do it in social media. But... Like I say, I try and stay off social media. Like I kind of don't get involved in it too much, but you know, I'm su I'm sure there's going to be times, you know, when I need to get involved. But um, you know, I try I try let my fighting do do the talking. And what has your trainer said to you about this upcoming fight? Um, what, what what do you need to do to get the win? My trainer and also my dad. Um, you know, like he says, you've got to keep. You know, we've only had like three and a half weeks notice for this fight. But you know that. That's the benefits of you know being a, being a true athlete and staying in the gym. But like my dad said, you, you've got to keep your eye on the ball. These are dangerous fighters, and like you say, you can't overlook anybody in this game. There's someone behind you there who also had a uh, Joe Calzaghe, by the way. Calzaghe, yeah. Um, he also had his uh, dad in the corner uh, yeah. during his career. Um, how much does that help you? And uh, 
Do you sort of like try and keep boxing away from home sometimes? Well, for me, Joe was my inspiration growing up, and I didn't actually, I've never met Joe, so I need to go and grab a picture with him in a bit, you know. He's, what him and his dad did in the sport, you know, it was a big inspiration for me, and, um, you know, I looked up to Joe massively. You know, I've seen, you know, the, the relationship he had with his dad. You know, you see his arguments in the gym, and that's what I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the same with my dad. And, um, and yeah, he, he was a big inspiration to me, and I need to go and grab a picture with him after. <laughs> so, um, how hard is it to keep that um, family life and boxing life separate? It's hard, and, um, like, I'm sure Joe could probably give me some advice on that. You know, it has, it ups, it has its ups and it has its downs. And, um, you know, I'm sure Joe's the person to ask about that, you know, get advice and, you know, it'd be nice, it'd be nice to see how he dealt with it. And, you know, he'd have gone through the same as I did. And going forward to Saturday night, is it the uh, knockout you're looking for again? Of course, everybody wants a knockout, but, you know, I'll go in there, listen to my dad. If the stoppage comes, the stoppage comes, but, you know, I'm fit for 10 rounds. Thanks, Dalton. Yeah, have a good Appreciate day. Appreciate that. Thank you.